Hello and welcome to a, another growth tool tutorial from Beehive. Uh, today we're going to be talking about setting up and deploying Google Tag Manager on your publication. Before we get started, quick background, what is Google Tag Manager? Google Tag Manager is a tag management system that allows us to quickly and easily update measurement codes and other tags uh, that can help you optimize your website. Um, all without having to edit the source code uh, or get into the kind of back end of a site. So to get to Google Tag Manager, we're going to go to tagmanager.google.com or simply Google, Google Tag Manager. You'll arrive on this screen. You have to have a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account, you'll have to create one. Uh, and then to create the account, we're going to click this Create Account button. I'm going to be creating an account for a publication a uh, kind of sample publication called Daily Meditation. Um, so under that account name, I'm just going to put the name of the publication, which is different than the name of the website. I'm going to select the country where I'm located. I'm going to opt to share data anonymously with Google. And then I'm going to type in, in terms of the container setup, the container name should be the name of the website itself. So dailymeditation.space. And this is going to be for use on web. So once we create it, we're going to get this terms of use page. We're going to select that, opt in. And from here, it's going to give us this kind of, you know, relatively intimidating look, a uh, looking bit of code. We're just going to click okay. We're actually going to just going to grab this snippet, this number, you know, this code up here. And we're going to hop over to our Beehive account underneath settings and publication. We're going to go down to tag manager pixel ID and put that number. You click save and then go back to Google Tag Manager. We now are set up to add any tags that we want here. So right now we're not going to necessarily take any further steps. There's other videos that we're going to describe on how this could be used to track things like signups, uh, page views, deploying different events and, and such. Um, but right now uh, that's, we're good to go. So you have the Tag Manager account, you have your container for your website. Uh, and then you're going to take this code and drop it in this pixel ID space and we're, we're good to go. So look out for other ways to use Google Tag Manager in order to uh, optimize your publication and get more users.